Oh, dude. Oh, nice. nice. There's one. Oh, yeah. I think it's a huge pickerel. Huge pickerel, man. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Orange 22 Fishing. My name is Dave, and today's video is all about the Mike Buka baby bull shad. So a couple of days ago, I got out on the water and fished with this thing and I was just blown away by the success that I had on it. So I had been using all kinds of baits all day, different tactics, different retrieve styles, all kinds of stuff, and nothing was hitting at all. So I pulled out the baby bull shad and I said, what the heck? I don't use it that often, but I'm gonna try it today and just a couple of casts in, you guys are about to see what happened with that. So because of the catch that I had on there that day, I got out a couple of days later on my kayak and through the same bait on the same pond. And again, I was just blown away by the success and the results that I had on this thing in the dead of winter here in Delaware. So you guys are about to see both of those days come to life right in front of you. And I'm super stoked that you guys get to do that because this was a really, really fun couple of outings with this baby bull shad right here. Make sure if you guys do enjoy today's video, please leave me a thumbs up down below, drop a comment and hit that red subscribe button. And for now, I will see you all out on the water. Dude, oh, nice. nice. That's a good bass. And you know what no awesome? way. We have a scale for Holy it. cow, dude. Nice. I can't believe that. <laughs> On the bull shed. That's the most unexpected bass I've caught in a while. <laughs> you are good luck, man. Guys, that is just epic right there. A little Mike Buka bull shed. We got ourselves a tank. Man, oh man, not a bite all day. Oh yeah, almost five, is he five? Yeah, four, yeah, bouncing but bouncing around four and five guys, 4.98, and then 504, so we'll call it a five pounder. That is just savage. Did you guys see the way he ate that thing? Now I saw him come up and hit him. Yeah, I thought he was smaller, and then I, I set into him and he was big. That's just epic, guys. What an absolute tank on the Mike Buka baby bull shad. I'll leave the link to get that at Catch Co. Down in the description below on Shop Carl's. You can buy one of those right now if you want to. And uh, I'm going to let this guy go, man. What a gorgeous bass. See you later. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. <laughs> That's crazy. I saw him come up right out of there. Yeah, he was right here. Yeah. Well guys, that was just absolutely, completely, totally unexpected. You know, I have not had a bite all day long. And then I toss on the baby bull shad just on a whim. It's a great wintertime bait. And uh, wow, that, that bass was sitting right there on the rocks. Just came out and destroyed that baby bull shad, dude. That is just sick. <laughs> Oh man, I love fishing. That's a fish, dude. All right. Nice, on the bull shad. There we go, guys, finally found one. Adam called it. He said they'd be in this cove. It's not the giant, but uh, it's somewhat of a pattern, hopefully. I like it. Yeah, twitch and pause. Man, they are so much fun to catch swim bait fish, guys. If you have not tried a bull shad, you got to try these things out. Link in the description below. But first fish of the day, and man, he's got a cut right below his fin right there. It's like something sliced him open. 
for a little guy, but we're gonna let him go. See you later, bud. Well, you know the cast before I caught that fish was the first time I've gotten any kind of green vegetation off of here on the hooks. And then the next cast I threw in the same spot and that's where he was. It's cool fishing this cove because it's pretty much unfishable in the summer with anything but a frog. And uh, it's all pads and scum everywhere just across the top. So it's nice being able to throw something subsurface in here. Um, hang on. That's a good one. Is that a pickerel, dude? I think it's a huge pickerel. Huge pickerel, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Dude, this is a big pickerel. Ah, let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> baby bull shad. Getting it done. Let's go, man. Woo! Oh my gosh. That was a fun hit. That was a really fun hit. Guys, that was just one of the most fun pickerel bites I've had in a while. That was strictly on the pause. And uh, this is a really nice fish, guys. It's a really nice fish. Not quite the size of some of the ones we catch out here, but it ain't bad. All right. Got them all freed up, guys. That is a healthy boy. Probably, oh yeah, he's been eating up real well. <laughs> oh man, let's get him rinsed off. Did get hooked in the tongue, which is bleeding a little bit, but he'll be fine, it's not in the gills. But man, check out the belly on that chain pickerel, guys. Wow. Great fight too, really good fight. Let's get him back. Man, you can catch pickerel on the baby bull shad too. It's not just a bass lure. You will catch multiple species on this bait right here, including these big, beautiful chain pickerel. See him swim off right there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Man, that was just awesome, guys. That was really cool. <laughs> they always hit when you're not paying attention. <laughs> Let's see if we can continue to build off of that awesome pickerel catch right there, guys. That was such a fun hit. And I thought it was a bass at first, but I saw that big green narrow head come out of there and I'm like, man, we got a serious pickerel on the end of the line. And he was probably about 22 inches, so a really good fish, absolutely. Not a trophy class fish like we do catch out here in the winter, but catching that one right there shows me that they're coming alive out here and it's only a matter of time before we find one of those true giants. Mm. Yeah, that's a stick. <laughs> He's getting a little bit excited right there. He's casting up near the structure because like uh, Adam and I were just discussing a minute ago off camera, these fish are still shallow right now. Uh, we've been casting deep off the bank before we even really got into this video today. And we just didn't have any luck. And then we come out here in the kayak, start fishing some of these shallow flats. And that's where I found the first two fish of the day for me. So, you know, there, there's uh, definitely something to be said about casting near the structure and in the grass. And sometimes you get snagged when you do that, but it's all right. So there's fish in there too. There's one. Oh yeah, we are on a pattern, guys. We are on a pattern for sure. Another good pickerel. That one was way out in the middle. <laughs> yeah, again, right in the grass. You talk about eating a bait. That thing swallowed that bullshed. Wow. Another healthy pickerel. Yeah, healthy fish. Gonna have to perform a little surgery to get this guy free. There we go. No harm done. That's how you know a fish believes the bait is real when you uh, 
see them swallow it like that. You always hate seeing them do that because sometimes they do bleed a little bit, but that's how they know, or that's how you know you're throwing the right bait because uh, they're de they're definitely into it. But another chain pickerel, third fish of the day, and I think it's safe to say we're on a pattern now. Get back out there, bud. That water's freezing, man. Good gosh. Keep forgetting it's not summer. You know what's funny about this pond too? You will not catch a single pickerel here if you fish in the summer or the spring or the fall for that matter. You only get them in the winter here. Dude, another one. Is that a fish? What in the world? That's a fish. Why is it fighting like that? What in the world do we got? I must have snagged it, whatever it is. I definitely snagged it. <laughs> snagged a pickerel in the tail. <laughs> oh my gosh. When it's your day, it's your day, right? I mean... <laughs> Holy cow. That is a tank. I thought I snagged a shad at first because it didn't feel that big, but... When it's going your way, it's going your way, guys. What can I say? Right in the tail. This is a good time to talk about the important split grippers. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Addiction bait slip grippers, baby. They're legit. I mean, <laughs> you don't want to be putting your hand in that guy's mouth, I'll tell you that. But this one might be bigger than the first. I think it is. I think so, I yeah. I don't know if it's bigger belly. Yeah, I mean, that's... uh. Probably 23 inches, maybe. Either way, great fish. Even if I did snag him, I'll still take catching him all day long. I think I found the pickerel. They haven't moved up to where we bank fish yet, but they're out here. I know snagging fish, guys, isn't really catching fish, but it's a true testament to these hooks on the baby bull shad because I was just thinking to myself the other day, last time I was using this thing, I was like, man, these hooks are probably the best hooks I've ever seen on any bait, and that's no exaggeration. Like, I don't think I've ever lost a fish Who makes it? on this uh, on this bait. It's from Catchco, oh, okay. and it's a collaboration with Mike Buka, okay. and he made his own swim baits, and then they mass manufactured them. And uh, yeah, the hooks are just insane. Just waiting for that one to slam it right at the side of the boat, man. Like, I'm twitching this thing in very slowly all the way to the end. And uh, we could see a big mammoth pickerel or a bass come up here and hit it right at the side of the boat. Because this water is a little bit clearer than it usually is right now. As are most ponds in the winter months. So we could see some really cool action out here. Mm-hmm. I just got grass again, so. Oh yeah. Let's go, Adam. Oh, it's a good that's a good one, dude. Lost it. No. Oh man. That seemed like a very nice fish, man. Uh, okay, well, you know what? If I didn't catch a fish today, I caught a lesson. Demonstrate and be a cautionary tale for everybody else. Do you have any more of those jerk baits? Um, not exactly like that one. That one was pretty sweet. Uh, <laughs> that was, third, third that was like your second cast. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh, man. Holy, 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 right in front of the kayak. Oh, dude, wait till you see this on the camera. 
Oh my gosh. Guys, what did I just say? What did I just say about a fish potentially coming up right in front of us? And just munching the living daylights out of that bull shad. Dude, we have found the spot. I think we found the spot. Oh, another very, very nice pickerel. <sighs> These things are all so fat. Like they must just be feeding the heck up back here. I literally, I twitched it two times in front of the kayak, let it sink down. And then he just came up and obliterated it. This thing is like a secret weapon for pickerel today, man. Another gorgeous, gorgeous chain pickerel. And just the way he ate that guy is so, so much fun. I mean, I'm having a blast out here. And there's probably more fish to be caught, so let's let him go. Hopefully get some more. Wow. Boom. That doesn't get you fired up. I don't know what the heck will. That fish must have been stalking the bait all the way, probably from when I cast it out there, all the way up to the front of the boat, because I saw him literally just sitting behind it. I gave it two twitches. He was eyeing that thing up like a nice steak on a meat on a plate right in front of you and he decided to chomp it right there that is one of the coolest eats i've had in a while since snakehead season love me some pickerel fishing man i absolutely love it they're such a fun species to target especially in the winter months when a lot of other stuff is shutting down they are just they kind of come alive this time of year and it's a really fun fish to target mm -mm -mm.